Hi everyone, this is Kurano and welcome to a new video in automation. Um, you might not uh, know this, but I say new video because I've done automation videos before, but they were in French and if you can, uh, if you are someone with a normal intelligence, you can notice I have uh, some accent in my voice because I am French myself. So this is kind of new to me because this is the very first video I'm making in English and it turns out to be an automation video. So I was thinking what can I do as the first video I make in English in automation. By the way, the reason I turn to English language instead of uh, continuing to make my videos in French is because automation is a very small community and um, I think the big uh, the, the biggest uh, of the community is English speaking. So I guess I can reach a wider audience uh, if I speak in English myself. And I think I have the level to withstand a whole video this way, even if it tires me out. Um, so back to the topic at hand, I was thinking uh, what, uh, what should I do as the first video I make in English in automation. And I was thinking, since I'm French, what about uh, making or remaking a car that is French, that is from France, but that is known everywhere in the world. So I thought about it not very long, but I thought without going to race cars uh, category, I thought of, of a one brand that could be interesting to make, to remake in the game, which is Alpine. And uh, I'm gonna show uh, right now the model I chose. So I chose the Alpine A310, which uh, in English would be uh, A310 uh, or 310. I don't know how you say that uh, exactly in English. But I guess the Alpine brand is somewhat known uh, of a overseas. Yes, could be overseas if you live in the US, but um, because I was, I was thinking of the others, of the other uh, French brands, which are Peugeot, Renault, and Citroën. My accent is not very consistent. Um, and I don't think there are that much known outside of Europe, maybe. So I thought of a specific brand that could uh, be interesting to car connoisseur, car enthusiast. That's better. And so I ended up with choosing the Alpine A310. Why, instead of its relative, uh, the A110? Well, simply enough, because there is a mod uh, for, uh, for the uh, A310 body in automation. That's it. So we're gonna make two variants of it, I think, because there are two engines for this car of this car, 
I'm trying to pronounce things correctly instead of making my R's like R. So you can, also, you can also notice I'm using the French version of Wikipedia because since it's a French car, I think the most resources uh, there are are in French. I can check, but maybe I'm gonna switch uh, between the two languages. But for the moment, I'm gonna stay in French and I'm gonna put that window over there and we're gonna be able to start and hide this we're gonna be able to start designing the car uh, and i'm gonna stop rambling because it's already been seven minutes maybe a bit less uh, if i edit this video and we still haven't done anything so we're gonna make a new car model and i'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna do as I do them. I don't know if it was grammatically correct or not, but either way. Um, where is that body? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And I hope, uh, I hope, I really hope you can understand me with, uh, even with my accent that kind of jumps all around the place sometimes i manage to pronounce uh, to pronounce things uh, quite well and sometimes i cannot so i hope it doesn't uh, trouble you too much it's difficult to concentrate on doing something while thinking about how to say something in another language. Um, in the stock game, there is this body that kind of looks like it, but I, th I believe I had downloaded... There it is. That is the Alpine body, which we're gonna use. So it's a mod that you can download uh, via the Steam Workshop. And now we're gonna have to follow some specifications. So what does the wiki say about the, um, the materials of, for the body and chassis? Um, so fiberglass maybe? Well, we're gonna guess fiberglass and I'm gonna set the year as 1975 because I think the model year doesn't go lower than this yeah so I'm I can't uh, go lower even though the first um, A310 cars uh, were made in 71 so I don't know should I do monocoque or space frame I've found something on the English uh, English uh, Wikipedia page. Apparently, the A310 has a tubular chassis, so that would be space frame in obviously steel, and it's fiberglass. So my first word, my first choice was good, and we have a rear. So it's it should be a real wheel drive, real wheel longitudinal. That seems weird to me. I would have guessed rear transverse, not longitudinal. I'm gonna do rear longitudinal since I can't do anything else. And what about the suspension? I had that in French. It was... Yes, I, I understood it was common with the Renault 5, but Renault 5 turbos, which is made to be a rally car. But which is it? What 
is the suspension of a Renault 5 turbo turbo uh, will completely be guessing there, there because I don't find the information so I'm gonna go McPherson McPherson I don't know, maybe by looking at some pictures I'm gonna be able to find something. Hmm. So this picture sug suggests double wishbone. Yeah. That's my phone. Because you see, with McPherson you have one uh, wishbone. And the... Um, how do you call this again? The... Not the coil. Or is it the coil? I don't know. You, you, you see why with the You see what with my mats. Uh, this thing uh, directly linked to the wheel. But with a double wishbone, there is a second wishbone on top uh, that is uh, connecting the wheel to the chassis. And the, this uh, connects to uh, the lower wishbone, I believe. I'm going to check. Yeah, that's it. And so apparently, at least on the rear, that's what is used. In the front, it also seems to be the same. So you're, we are gonna be using both. Okay. Well, that's so difficult to make a video in English. I have to think way too way m way more than when i speak in french because english is not my native language obviously so new engine the two engines that were used in the a310 were an engine called uh, cleon alu apparently and I pronounce this in French because I don't think uh, there is an English equivalent. Nope. In English it's called uh, the same. And it was a four-cylinder engine. A four-cylinder inline engine. Um, and there is a V6 but it's a weird V6 because it's the same V6 that uh, is used in the DeLorean. Yes, the, the car in um, uh, Back to the Future. And uh, this engine is called a PRV. PRV, which stands for Peugeot, Renault and Volvo. So those are the two engines that were used in the A310. So we are gonna start with the PRV engine, which is a V6. So normally a V6 is usually a V60 degrees engine, but the PRV was a weird engine because it was originally designed to be a V8 but it was cut to a V6, so as it was originally made to be a V8, uh, it's a V90 degree. So it's a 90 degree V6, which is weird. But also, it's what's used currently in uh, F1 cars, so that's not so st stupid apparently. Uh, and its uh, material is made using so it's aluminium 
and it's a 2.6 liter 2.664 liter so 2.7 closely close to 2.7 liters um i want to ha get the bore and the stroke the precise bore and stroke okay so it's 88 millimeters and 73 millimeters 88 and 73 am i gonna be able to go this low yeah okay um helen valves was uh what did they use so they used overhead cams but what kind dual overhead cam or just overhead cam overhead cam and there are two of them or dual overhead cam which one of those is it I want to see something can I remove just the cover here no but not this one not, not this one yes this one ah that's beautiful and I want to remove this so you see the difference between a single overhead cam and a dual overhead cam the difference is here the the cam uh, has um, has two jobs to do and here there are two cams which allows each cam to have their own job uh, one for intake and one for exhaust if I'm not mistaken but I don't know what is used what was used the the wiki page only says there were overhead cams but they don't tell which type I'm gonna guess I'm gonna look at the English page maybe it can tell me so what the English page tells me is the two valves per cylinder were only used on single overhead cam So I'm gonna use single overhead cams and the head material is aluminium. There! Progress! Finally! And fuck, I closed the page I didn't want to page to close. So the... Um, I'm gonna guess everything is cast in there. I'm gonna. Um, I'm changing. Um, I will change it if uh, there is a need to. And I'm gonna re-activate uh, those. There. Um, do we have data on the compression ratio? Yes, we have, um, but it's not very precise. The wiki tells me between 8.8 .8 and 9.5 compression depending on the model on the specific engine models so i have to find the specific engine model that was used it doesn't tell me i'm gonna get upset Apparently it increased over time. So 
I guess we're gonna have to... So we're gonna lower that to 9.5 and we're gonna see where it leads us. Um, notable and apparently it uses injection but there is only mechanical injection and the wiki page tells me it was apparently electronic. Uh. We're gonna put the year in 78 which allows us to have access to single point, single point EFI which we which will uh, allow me to be on spec with what I find. <sighs> Intake is going to be either standard or performance. I'm going to put performance. It's ugly. Standard. Okay, that looks more like an old car. And with a... Were they le leaden? Where, where the... Was the A310 uh, leaded? Using leaded fu fuel? That's possible. I'm gonna consider it is the case. But I'm also gonna consider uh, that um, the car is future proof. So I'm gonna put regular and I'm gonna have a hard time, I think. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time uh, fitting uh, under this run. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna modify the RPM limit, which is, uh, what is the RPM limit? Well, it, not, it might not be the extreme limit, but the maximum power is reached, is supposed to be reached around 6000 RPM. So I'm at least gonna go here and I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna go up to uh, 6500 RPM. The exhaust is gonna be Shortcast should be enough. With a three-way converter and a baffled exhaust everywhere. And I'm knocking, not surprisingly. Um, I'm gonna put the cam, cam profile at 60 for the moment to eliminate valve, valve float and I'm gonna decrease the fuel mixture not too much I hope 13.4 should be enough and I'm gonna reduce compression to 9.2 not enough uh, the limit is 8.8 so I'm gonna start with 8.8 so 8.8 I don't I can't uh... okay so I'm gonna have to decrease this even more and look at that we're at 149 horsepower uh which is very close to the um, what's supposed to be what we are supposed to reach, which is uh, 150. But I'm gonna look at this. No, the exhaust is good. And let's listen to it. It's too bad the game doesn't account for the differences between the 60 degrees and 90 degrees 
uh, v6 because apparently they have a different sound but the game doesn't care <sighs> but apparently we need we would need to increase this and I'm gonna put that to 65 I would like to increase the compression but I can't I'm just gonna put leaded fuel in there I don't care which brings the emissions to absurd levels and which makes the note that's stupid never mind we're not gonna bother with the we're not gonna bother with the catalytic uh, converter and I would like please to have lower horsepower now maybe single is enough like this yeah that should do it 154 we're still above what I should aim okay at 9 we're okay there and I guess I can't really do better than this and we're supposed to have something like 200 newton meters of what oh oh so the... so that's good that was just the game glitching out so I guess we're good here for the engine so I'm gonna call this the V6 PRV and this the um, Alpine version because I don't know what to call it otherwise okay so we're gonna we're not gonna bother with uh, the design of the car for now we're gonna go straight for the rest which is the drive type which is the only thing we have available is rear wheel drive which is good with a manual gearbox and how many gears did it have so the very first models of the PRV were using apparently four speed gearboxes but then they went uh, with five speeds I'm gonna put the five speed regardless and the estimated top speed tells me I'm I can reach 250 250 kilometers per sec per hour not per second that would be very fast uh, so open differential radial tires did you know the the Alpine 310 used very unique tires uh, for uh, for it, which were somewhat of a hybrid between road tires and uh, sport tires, which make them very rare um, for people who have a an a 310 and want to restore it with the the. Uh, original uh, tires so we're gonna go medium compound and what were they using in what was the width of the tires so they were they were using 190 millimeters in the front and 195 
millimeters in the rear, in the rear, which is quite large for this kind of car. And I'm not so sure about the space frame chassis. Because seeing this weirds me out a bit. But apparently it's this, so I'm not complaining. Maybe that's a problem that is more to do with the game than... And what, what was the... Oh. That's gonna be difficult because apparently the tires were 15 inch, which is quite big, honestly. And um, the profile was okay. So the tire profile was bigger in the rear than in the front but there is a problem which is automation doesn't support different um, profiles between the rear and the front maybe it will come but for the moment it's not possible so I'm gonna go with mm, no wait what did I say? I, I said the real tires had a... Oh! Okay. So we're gonna go with 15 inches. I didn't uh, deploy the little spoiler thing there. So apparently the rear it's not 195, it's 220. So we're gonna go with 220 and the profile apparently is good so i'm gonna leave it there and that's it so was it using i not sure it was using disc brakes yet oh yes they they were using even vented discs so i'm gonna put vented discs and i don't know the size so i'm gonna uh, tune that uh after did it have a skid tray? Maybe. I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna put an off-road skid tray because the A310 was made at, for, was mainly made for a rally car. So, and two seat is fine, two seat is fine with a basic interior either basic or sport i'm gonna go with sport but no entertainment inter in oh, entertainment words are difficult friends with standard 70s safety And I'm gonna use standard springs. Ah, that's the word I was looking for earlier. Springs! And... Gas monotube dampers. And we have a problem. The car is oversteering. I'm gonna put a, po a sports preset. But the car is oversteering. And weight side, weight wise, we're not quite. Uh, well, we're close to ballpark, but we are not quite there yet. It's supposed to be a bit heavier, around 850 kilos. That is, if I don't say crap something like uh, 1700 uh, pounds and what does it complain about what does the game yes break force which is too low in the rear 
By the way, we have no ABS, so brakes should not be above the threshold. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check this again. Uh, I don't I don't know if it's gonna be able to reach this point, but if it's gonna if it's able to reach this point, we are pretty much spot on in terms of max speed. So that's good. See, we are supposed to make the engine is making 150 brake horsepower, but well, no, not brake horsepower. Uh, I don't know that really know the difference between both terms, but the engine is supposed to make 150 horsepower, but with all the friction that happens it realistically is more around 135 but that's all right and i have to resolve this because we are oversteering right now which is normal since it's a real uh, drive car I guess I'm gonna have to increase the camber in the rear and reduce it in the front that should help I can do much more than this. Oh, maybe, maybe putting enough set I can do, I can't do more than this. Okay, so back to Kamba. Perfect. 100% sportiness. Pretty much 1G cornering. And we are back to something that doesn't uh, oversteer. So that would be a, a perfect uh, suspension tuning for sportiness. I'm gonna rename the car and I'm gonna look if uh, there is something missing, something I didn't do. And I guess we're gonna go we're gonna go in time lapse mode to make this car look like it should. So yeah. Same as. I'm finished with the car. You can see what I've done. Um, there wasn't much to do, actually. So I guess for this it is finished. And I'm gonna export uh, this into uh, BMNG. And we're gonna uh, make our uh, lower power version uh, j 
just after after that uh, just after that so difficult so difficult to speak in english holy hell it's been an hour and 35 minutes since i started recording i'm taking my sweet goddamn time and the game has trouble loading things like last time i made a video in bmng my computer is really uh, about uh, done at this point i i think i'm gonna have to buy a new one make a new uh, setup so let's start let's let's test out this little you see this engine is positioned like this normally in reality it would be in a transverse uh, formation uh, position and it would be on its side so we can do that we can't do that in this game with this body so that's all right we're gonna try and make a lap around here see how the this car uh, performs and since and since there are no abs on this car i think i'm gonna block the brakes quite uh, a lot and i don't know on this map where is the off-road uh, part and you can see uh, everything is uh, popping in and out because uh, the last time I made a video, the performance of the game was so bad, I turned all the graphics uh, at, the, at the minimum, I turned it down to the minimum, and so this is the result. Okay, so I've made nearly two laps now, and I don't feel... This car is really that powerful. We can feel it has quite a bit of punch since it's lightweight. But I think we've gonna we're gonna switch to the PRV version. We're gonna make a lap and we're gonna find some off-road uh, track to drive the car uh, in. That's a way more pleasant sound. And I spinned out. Because I blocked the brakes and I pushed the throttle pedal, throttle pedal a bit too much. And I'm gonna have to find some off-road track where should i go so i'm gonna leave there leave there and there is some off-road track okay so i should take there is a path here You see, so this car is 150 horsepower and it feels like a 300 horsepower car because it's so lightweight. That's not... yes, off-road. And I think I'm gonna spin out like crazy. And medium compound might not have been the best uh, solution for this it's 
spin out. And uh, also uh, driving uh, the, the BMNG is not very good with uh, the the driving model on BMNG is not that great. I mean, it's it has a very good uh, crash uh, simulation, uh, but uh, the driving model is. Not quite there. The the game tends to to give me problems with a with some stuff, uh, especially with uh, what would be better normally in this kind in this kind of games, which is a steering wheel, but. When I drive in this game with a steering wheel, I can't control the car correctly, like I expect uh, in other uh, simulation type games. So I'm playing BMNG with a controller, and that's not that much more precise, but at least the the controls are a bit more made for it, uh, a bit better. So we've just made two laps on this mixed track with both uh, off-road and asphalt type uh, parts. And uh, we can see when I control my uh, throttle uh, the car drives uh, quite well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one last thing because before uh, we we leave. No, that's not it. I'm gonna go on the green map, and I'm gonna see how fast can this car. Go. We can see the 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 smoke. Uh, at the back of the car because the I pushed uh, the um, the settings for the the fuel mixture a bit too high and we can see the um, not that much now but earlier we could see that the car was very much uh, uh, Maybe my suspension is a bit too a bit too high and also maybe it's a bit too soft. So that's it for this video. It was quite hard to speak in English and I hope next time I don't make this video this long. I don't make a video this long because we're nearing the 1 hour and 45 minute mark as I'm recording this. I hope uh, by editing everything uh, I can get down to something closer to 30 minutes or maybe 45 minutes max. Uh, because this video is otherwise too long. So um, I'm gonna invite you to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content uh, like this. 
I don't know how much videos like this I'm gonna make, but uh, if you want to see more, feel free, feel free to subscribe and comment in uh, and to write in the comment in the comments section below uh, to tell me you are interested in seeing more stuff like this. Uh, it's not gonna be. Um, it's not always gonna be um, about uh, French cars, but uh, that's what I wanted to do today. So I hope you liked it. Again, subscribe, comment down. You can like the video and talk about it in among I don't know who you know. Goodbye.